All right. Uh, want to show you something that's happening in Orange County. Volunteers there are stepping up efforts in a big way to reach families who are struggling to get enough food this summer. Uh, Bob DeCaster is introducing us to the fine folks of Families Ford, the pantry there in Irvine. And I said last hour that it looked like the shelves were stocked behind you, and that isn't the case. They are in dire need of support well, and are calling out our, our, our friends in Orange County to come help. Please. Please, please help. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks somewhat full, but really they should be really full. There's some of the shelves you can see behind me here are, are kind of bare if, if you even look at it from afar. But what's so wonderful is just to hear the stories, the families that have been helped by Families Forward. Even Brittany, who we just spoke with, she told me it was just so nice to be able to write a rent check. It was so nice to be able to write a rent check because of the help from Families Forward and, and the foodstuffs that they give out to hundreds of families every single week uh, at this food pantry. They do so much uh, for so many families here in Irvine. This is Maddie. She's the CEO of Families uh, Forward. And we were saying, why are these shelves uh, empty right now? I'm looking behind here and these shelves are empty here. Why, why the summertime? And summertime, you know, truly, it's a, it's a, there's a big issue with summer hunger because families are needing more access to food, but most people aren't thinking about giving during the summer months. It's summer mode, vacation, and as you can see from the soup shelves, which are typically full to the brim, we are in desperate need of more donations. Yeah, I, I know. As soon as they come in, you say they go out, right? And you, you rely so heavily on these donations. All right, so if people are sitting at home and they say, uh, what can I do to help, what, do you, what would you tell them? I would say that, of course, support of funds are critical, not only to support the food pantry, but the housing program, like Brittany and, and then the program that she was in. But of course, if you can donate, we would love to receive non-perishable food items. And the most valuable of all, of course, is time. So before the pandemic, we were logging 21,000 volunteer hours. They are critical. They're the backbone of the organization. So if you have time, we would love to have you come and volunteer with us. All right. If you have time to just uh, go stop by the Walmart, pick up a couple of cans, pick up a bag of cans. It doesn't cost very much. Go get those cans of food. It helps families directly. I've been talking to this volunteer over here. This is Jill. She's busy. I'm going to stop you for two seconds here because I know you're busy filling these bags. You've been volunteering. Get this, Michaela. She's been an educator, uh, retired, and now you've been volunteering for eight years. Wow. What's it been like for you to, to be able to be here at Families Forward? Um, well, I really like it because it's local. Mm -hmm. and it helps local families and because I'm in the food pantry I actually get to see food going out and uh, clients receiving food. And tell me again what compelled you to to come here and to work specifically at Families Forward? Uh, I had been a teacher in Irvine and it had helped several families of my students and as a school teacher we had always done drives for Families Forward and I just really wanted to give back to a community that had given so much to me and to my family. That's a great so lady. So amazing. Educator, and then she keeps, she keeps helping, right? Yeah. Uh, and she saw, Michaela, how this directly helps families. So, exactly. you know, when you give, it's going directly to, to families there. So families-forward.org is where you need to go if you want to volunteer, like Jill here, and yeah. get alongside her and, and stuff some bags or, or bring in some cans or, or donate some money. You know, Bob, it's interesting because some people get concerned when they're asked for money to donate things. Well, if you're donating food, you know exactly where that food is going in a case like this. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of people are worried, and they don't know uh, where their, where their, you know, their donations are going to. And yeah. here, I can tell you, they say when they get their food stuffs, it goes out. So they're, they're asking for anyone, even if your restaurants out there, yeah. and you had some perishable foods on your shelves that you can, you know, you're not going to use, you're going to get rid of. Yeah. Bring them over here. So uh, this. People come here from far and wide, not they just in, in the Irvine area. Yeah. So it's a small little, I, I call it the little engine that could. It because sure it's is. not a huge pantry, but they help a lot of people. And, you know, we think about this at the holidays, but it's in the summer that the need is just as great and the donations go down. So if you're, as Bob said, give in any way you can. Maybe it's sweat equity. You can get down there and volunteer like that retired educator. Or maybe you can donate some canned goods or even some cash. We appreciate you being there, Bob. Thanks for shining a light on it. Of course.